back from combat again. Uh, New York Open black belt champ Bobby ran uh, two instructors here at Tactical Combat. Um, just to add some stuff that wanted to film. We did the Baron Bolo counter, so now we're going to show a couple of different ways. One's going to be a turtle attack, but it's also going to be a crucifix. And we were just actually playing around with some stuff from side mount to set up the crucifix, so we'll show that and let you guys kind of play around with what you like. So let's go with the turtle first. Bobby's on all four. And we're here, we're doing what we call a high knee ride. So I'm inside here, controlling his lapel or backpacking here. I'm going to control his wrist, but I'm really worried about this wrist right now. So from here, I'm going to open up, I'm going to step my foot, and sweep it back. Now from here, I hook with my back foot here, and I'm going to push off with this one. I'm going to feed his lapel back to my backpack. This hand's still here. Now I'm simply just going to shoulder roll over top and kick this leg here. Now from here, pretty simple. I can either come here and finish, or I can start here, hook in, hook in, bring my foot back, I can attack an arm bar, here, collar choke, behind. This one's the most easy of these to attack. So again, right here, he's on all fours. And then here, when I do my high knee ride, I don't want my knee outside of his knee. Reason being is if he sits in for guard, He's going to be able to pull his guard because his knee is going to beat my knee. If my knee is inside his belly, when he tries to sit in, my knee can now beat his knee here, which now we can also start working on setting this stuff up. Now I just wait for him. I'm going to bring him back through here. Now he sets it up for me there. He's already come back. But I just wanted him. I can roll back through for my feet. So we're here, controlling. Windshield wiper scoop, switch to this hook, come back to my back, I'm going to plan on this hand. This is important, when I go over, I kick this leg up. This leg is what gives me the most, now i got to immediately shrimp out, lock my legs, I can finish my chokes here, or I can start walking my feet and I can attack the arm there. The other thing we were playing with is if he's down on his back here. A couple options from here. When I'm here, you gotta be careful for this first one as far as neck cranking. But I'm gonna be playing around with his arm, and now I'm gonna step again, hooking with my back leg here. Now I'm gonna force him to think that he can roll away. As he does, look, his arm stays in here, but I'm gonna push his head through, come underneath, and then switch underneath. So we'll do that with his feet towards you. So again, I'm using my hook towards his hip here, underneath. Here, as he goes through and he tries to go, I'm going to force him away. I hook, and then hook, and then sit. Now it's giving me his lapel here. The other option that we can do from here is right from here. He's up here. The way we like to take the back at this school, I'm going to go here. I'm going to punch here. Coming here, hooking. Now I'm going to lift him up as he starts to go away. I'm going to hook, slide my knee underneath, and there's my transition again. So I'm using my punch, like I'm throwing an uppercut, off of this here. I'm using this punch to get him to roll away from me. As he starts to come up, right, I come underneath, scoop, drag him back across me, hook, and then we're back into our same stuff again. So there's an attack from turtle, and then two from side mount. Hopefully you guys can play around with them. Like I said, there's last two we literally just thought about in the last five minutes. So it's up for you guys to play around.